So what's up, you know who it is. Today we're gonna to be working on something that I felt like our gym changed the game on in the UFC, on MMA in general. F it, I'll say, we changed the game on this in MMA in general, and that has to do with fainting. It's a break down what a faint is. A faint is a movement used to deceive your opponent. It's used to deceive your opponent so they don't know when you're about to attack. What I like to use it for is to scramble the person's brain. When you attack the driver, the vehicle's useless. It's just a vessel. Because most guys just go in the UFC, all these fight of the night guys go in and just jab. Chew. Mm. Mm. Right kick. That gets predictable because anytime you see them move, you know that an, an attack is coming, you know an attack is approaching. So when someone like me comes along and I'm fighting, boom. Boom. Mm, boom. They have no idea when I'm about to attack. They have zero clue and they just feel like they're getting spazzed. Look at many clips of my fights, even with Brunson, with Tavares, with Gastelum, with anyone. Like there was one of them I remember I fainted like. And yeah, the guy just like spazzed out. Oh, that was a kickboxing fight. Yeah. Anyway. So to start off with, um, there's many kinds of feints, but today I will teach you two basic kinds of feints, two. First one I like to use is just a, it's like a front side feint, whatever your stance is, your front side. And feints can't be like, I feel like it should be a fast movement, a sharp movement. You know what I mean? Boom, twitch fibers. I think I'm really good at feinting because of dancing, because of my dance background. Like, I just know how to tick, no talk. <laughs> Bars. Fast movements. Some Bruce Lee type shit. You can double faint. You want to use your front leg. You're not traveling with it, but you want to pretend. So you step in, step out. But at the same time, shoulder and hands, you throw it out a little bit. This is used to disguise a jab. I like to use this to disguise my jab. So. Now we have fellow UFC fighter Brad Riddell. He's really good at it as well. Awesome at it. So example, stance, establishing distance, and you want them to react. The, the basics is when, you, when I faint, I'm getting reads. I'm seeing how they're blocking. Cause like for this one I said, it's a jab faint. So I'm seeing what their look is. If they're doing that, they're parrying, if they're stepping back. So I get to read them. So example, if I'm here, boom. So he goes like that straight away. And you see what I mean? He's reacting as well. The more you faint, the more reads you get. You'll see, oh, when I throw this faint, he's doing this 90% of the time instead of this. So you know what kind of attack you're gonna use to follow up with. And the next one, one I actually learned from him, I'm sure he learned from Eugene, but I, I saw him use it very well when I came back from China, he was catching me with it, was the rear hip faint, which is used to disguise the low kick. And that's the one that looks like, this. And I feel like that's the one we, we as a gym used to kind of change the game of MMA because no one was really doing it, I'll be honest, no one was really doing it until we started doing it. And then we started you know, showing on the, on the world stage. So now you see everyone fighting like this, everyone's just like, no, everyone's doing it right because there's technique to it. Like example, you show me your one. Yeah. And see his style as well, when he brings it close, he can bridge off that. That's how he was getting me. I remember it was, it was him and our other teammate, Squen Chai. Um, he was getting me with it, because I was like, how the f And he's even shorter than him, he's like this tall. And I was like, how is he getting so close? But it's because he was bringing this here and then exploding. Yes. But how he establishes that first is a few leg kicks. You get the legs first, boom. And then they know, okay, the legs coming. So once you start seeing them, then you go in. There's multiple types of feints, tens of feints, but those two feints are the one I'm gonna show you today. The front side feint, boom. Just showing them your front side and letting them think a jab is coming. That one is used to disguise the jab. And then the rear hip feint, which is used to disguise a low kick. And yeah, we're pretty good at it, aren't we? Boom, good. easy. 